A Course of Love, Book Three, Forty Days and Forty Nights, Day Twenty One, The Reversal. The first transition, as you have probably already realized, is about letting go of any of the ideas that you may still have that an outside source exists. There is no such thing as an outside source. There are no outside sources of wisdom, guidance, or even information. This was true even within the pattern of learning you have been so familiar with, for in order to learn the source of wisdom, even though you may have seen it as an existing outside of yourself, had to function as what it was—a channel through which the wisdom, guidance, or information moved. If it did not do so, learning did not occur. In traditional learning patterns, the wisdom, guidance, or information sought moved from a teacher, whether that teacher was an actual teacher or a parent or a friend, to a student, or in other words, from a giver to a receiver. Nothing was capable of being taught or learned without the reception of what the giver gave. The giver. Could make available, but could not really teach, guide, or even make information coherent without the action of the receiver. Thus, it has always been the action of the receiver that made learning possible. The receiver was thus also the source, because the receiver had to accept or give what was offered to herself. The channel is the means, not the source. The source is oneness or union. A state you now realize that you share and have access to. What you allow yourself to receive and what you do with what you receive is all that matters. You realize now that life itself is a channel and that you are constantly receiving. You still perhaps think in terms of receiving meaning that there is something given from a source beyond the self, but this is the thought that has to change. If giving and receiving are one, then giver and receiver are also one. It is only you who can do anything with the wisdom, guidance, or information that you receive in union as a channel of the divine life force that exists in everyone and everything. There is nothing channeled to one that isn't channeled to all. The old notions of teaching and learning, but made it seem as if some had more and others less. But even the pattern of learning that has, that had as its outcome the sameness of teacher and learner, the transfer of knowledge that would eventually make teacher and learner equal, means and end have always been the same. Now, however, there is no longer an eventually. Teacher and learner are equal, and thus neither are needed any longer. The transfer of knowledge is now an act of giving and receiving as one. No intermediary is needed when you exist in union. It is recognized that the knowledge, wisdom, guidance, or information that is needed in each moment is available within each moment, and that the interaction, rather than being one of taking something from an outside source into the self. Where it is learned and then regurgitated, or even applied, has given way to an interaction that begins within and extends outward. This will seem like an incredible reversal, and thus it is. This is the reversal that will make of you a creator, but it can only happen if you first make the transition. You began your mountaintop experience with a companion who had offered himself as a teacher in order to bring you to the place of being willing to accept that a teacher was not needed. He joined you on the mountaintop in order to prepare you for this departure, a departure from reliance upon him, that would allow you to arrive at reliance upon yourself. This reliance upon yourself has been expressed as a dialogue taking place within Christ consciousness, the consciousness you share in union and relationship with all. You have now been told to own this dialogue and to realize that its wisdom is your own. Are you accepting this? Are you beginning to ready yourself to hear this voice as your own? 
to express the voice of Christ consciousness as only you can express it. Realize that this is the aim of our final time together. Concentrate on making the first transition and, and on the reversal of the thought that it requires. Thus will you carry this time forward with you into creation of the new.